Welcome guys to another episode of Sydney Trains Facts and Trivia. This episode is actually going to be a bit different this time as it's compiled of three clotheslines. So enjoy. The first line for this episode will be the Ropes Creek Branch. To start off, Ropes Creek Station. Ropes Creek Station opened on the 29th of June 1942. This station was compiled of a waiting room and a footbridge. This station was closed in on the 22nd of March, 1986. In June 2011, after a fire, this station was redeveloped into a park. Cochrane Station opened on the 2nd of September, 1957. This station was unstaffed because most, most people which used the station already had monthly or weekly tickets. This station was 165 metres long, so it could fit a whole eight-car train. This station was closed on the 22nd of March, 1986. Dunhevard Station opened in the 2nd of September, 1957. This station is compiled of a footbridge, a signal box, a ticket office, a waiting room, and toilets. The signal box was used for the main west line. The next line we'll be looking at is the Unandera to Mossvale line. The first station is Summit Tank, which opened on the 20th of September, 1942. This station once had a turntable, which is now no longer there. Mount Murray Station opened on the 20th of August, 1932. This station was mostly used for, for World War II traffic passing through. Ocean View Station, even though the picture is Stratfield, was closed in 1968. There is not much to say about Rain League House Station, except that the station was used by the Rain League residents. Robertson Station opened on the 20th of August 1932 and was closed in the early 1990s. For its 80th anniversary, this station got a quite a big makeover and now it looks almost like it did back in the day. Burrowang Station closed in 1925. This station is still ran by the regional railing bus. Gullawalla Station opened in 1932 and was closed in 1976. This station basically has little remains, but for some reason it's still on Google Maps. I have no idea why. The last branch we'll be looking at today is the Toronto branch. So, Toronto opened on the 24th of June, 1926. It was operated by 6.20 and 7.20 every 20 minutes as a service to Fassifern. Because it wasn't actually part of the electrification between Newcastle and Wyong, which basically led to its faith of being closed. Blackalls Park opened on the 7th of March, 1891, and is still quite intact, actually, with the platform, even though it's covered in grass. This station was closed in the early 1990s. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sydney Trains Facts and Trivia. If you have any more requests for any other clotheslines, please leave them in the comment section below. Bye.